ഹേ ഇറ്റ്സ് മീർ ഷാബ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദ പാർട്ട് ടു ഓഫ് മോഡൺ സേവ് ദ ഡേ ഇൻസ്റ്റാഗ്രാം സ്റ്റോറീസ് സോ ഇഫ് യു ഡോണ്ട് വാച്ച് ദ പാർട്ട് വൺ യു കാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ദ ലിങ്ക് ഫ്രോം ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ടു വാച്ച് ദ പാർട്ട് വൺ ടുറിയൽ സോ create a new sequence so now we are continue the part one so create a new sequence so this is also portrait mode 1001920 and sequence name change into save the date to so you create a new sequence now import the background 3 into this sequence and this is already already 15 seconds based on instagram stories so you don't need to do anything with the duration now we have to add some effects so go to video effects and this dot and you can add we, we want some uh, impact at starting so you can and i think magnify is not working so i just control z lens uh, lens distortion this is better so apply the lens distortion and minus curvature minus 18 add a keyframe at starting and move forward little bit and make it zero so when you playing yeah you can see that a little impact on here so we done this part now you have to add some elements you can add some element the head butterfly reveal this you have to add this uh, elements so move it little bit down and also you can change the size everything based on your invitation so this is a uh, element so we have to add uh, the photo inside this herb shape so you can uh, you can import the image into the top of this elements now we have to adjust the images uh, i think the part one we already done same kind of works so mm, just move the top of reveal animation and bottom is image now you will get like this because the video is transparent so at the top on at the top is top layer is head butterfly reveal and bottom is image now select the pen tool and select the image and you can here use the opacity in here you can add a mask with pen tool and if you are zooming you can do a better you can create a better shapes now create a herd shape because we are doing we are creating a mask for image based on the shape so we have to create a shape shape mask in images so ultimate thing is select the image layer go to opacity and click on the pen tool then create the herd shape that's only you have you have to do so if you want to control this anchor point if you want, uh, alt click and drag you can separate you can control manually you can control separate yeah like this now we already almost done that's only you need you don't need to do any effects you don't have to apply anything just create a mask for images that's only so we done now we have to look at the top of that layer some cutting because the butterfly video is a, a landscape version that's why it's cropped on the so we have to select the butterfly layer and go to the opacity and create a rectangle mask then increase the height 
and select this two point and increase the width and set like this and you have to invert then increase the feather now at the at the top side is we have we add some feather with this mask so it's so it's reduce the sudden clip yeah it's now like this yeah almost fine now we have to in, in we can extend mm, i think yeah you can add a titles so i just copy from previous title so i don't i don't waste the time so in previous tutorial one i already talking about how to create a titles and so like this this is the uh, title with both names so you can see yeah you will get like this now you have to go to the top of in, into the fifth layer and and a frame hold sorry at the starting sorry we are doing is not the wrong way and frame hold just control z then add a frame hold then so because starting we will get the steel version of first frame i like this yeah now we have to add the same video into here because in here is empty yeah i just like this then apply the opacity at the keyframe at the end add the keyframe and starting the opacity should be zero yeah now we lost the title so apply the butterfly reveal again and adjust the frames and I think it's different position so select this first version and set click on motion control C and select this layer and control V now we have to adjust the images again click the image then adjust the position now we are done we everything is done I think yeah adjust perfectly yeah now um, select this and apply and a keyframe in opacity at the ending not then at the end moment it should be zero opacity should be zero so add a little fade out for the title and fade in fade in for the heart shape 
yeah like this now we have to you can add some bokeh overlay and wording title particles everything you can add just to increase these titles and change the opacity keyframe to the end and also you have to increase the title durations also and change the opacity of title change the keyframe of opacity because you increase the durations of titles that's why we have to change the opacity timing now we are done Now you can add keyframe also in images starting 0 at this time 100. It's not necessary but it enhances the style. Yeah. Now we almost done. And if you click on yeah we have to add again the feather for this head so we already done in previously that's why I'm not explaining why we are creating this mask now yeah we are done change the mask further into 66 is enough that's enough you can increase into 100 yeah okay you can based on your yeah, 100 is best now um, so actually this is a simple technique uh, if you if we are breakdown and to previous we just add a background and title then that herd butterfly and image then crop the image based on that herd shape that's only we are done here but when we are doing in premiere it's take time that's why yeah if you are thinking about the process it's very simple so this is the part one tutorials now you can export and you can copy this date so this is our date layer control C and go to the second sequence change the playhead into the ending and control V now go drag him to the top starting yeah you will get a, a date also here and you can copy paste this location info also and control v and click and drag into here yeah so we have to adjust the position of these titles go to position and you can change the size 
then you have to go we click on motion control C then select second then control V you will copy the same position into the second clip and yeah we are done now we are done a beautifully animated wedding invitation for instagram stories so now you can export and you can add a beautifully romantic type of sound effects everything you can add and this sound effect is very important you can search in youtube romantic or wedding invitation sound or something like that now go to file export media and change the format into h.264 and place it into match source high bitrate then save you can change the save location and start the export and copy and choose